Hello Sagittarians and thanks for joining me for the October 2018 readings where as always we're going to use the Rock and Roll Tarot deck which is my own creation and then we're going to pull a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards also my own creation this and all my other wares are available on my website uh, you know people where I do shuffle the cards by the way I shuffle them a lot in between the taping I don't well, I don't feel like I need to do it on camera because then, you know, it's just wasting time of your reading. Secondly, some people were saying, well, you shouldn't shuffle the cards this way. Well, what I do is I shuffle like this in between to kind of clear the energy. And then when I get back to doing, when I start the reading, then I shuffle this way. Which, that's just my way of doing it. I don't think there's any right or wrong, but some people kind of got really upset about that. <laughs> so, I just wanted to mention that at the onset. Um, as I said, this month we're going to be doing the uh, Rock and Roll Tarot deck and the Beast Mistress free every month. If you're a Patreon supporter, you can get these readings early and with no Google ads. And also for Patreon supporters only, after the, at the end of the reading, we're going to pull an additional card every month from a different deck. This, new, this month's deck will be the Story Cards by Kathy Nichols. So if you want to be a Patreon supporter and to have access to all that, you can find information below. It's a once a month fee that is for all 12 videos, so you don't have to pay for each single video. Okay. Alright, so this is um, the reading for our Sagittarius friends for October of 2017. What is up for Sagittarius in October? Okay. Sagittarius for October twenty seventeen. Sagittarius for October twenty seventeen. Oh, look at that. You got a nice reading here, Sagis. Okay. And this is for Sagittarius Sun Rising and Moon. So if it doesn't resonate with you on your sun sign, you might want to check the rising and moon sign. Well, you have a nice reading. Looks like love. A lot of love cards here. The very first card out was the Empress. So the Empress is a card of abundance, fertility, abundance, fruitfulness, um, it's, it's, it can be a pregnancy, you know, but it's creation. You're so abundant that you're creating beyond yourself here. You could be creating, a, you know, a new baby in your belly or creating a new project or giving birth to, you know, something along those lines. But it's a very favorable card. It's one of the best cards in the deck. You have a, a huge lineup of Major Arcana right along the top. You've got this, the... the um, the Empress, the Magician, and the Star, all along. It's beautiful. You actually have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of nine cards are major arcana cards. That's pretty major. That says that higher forces are at work, that the universe is working on your behalf. Um, the Magician is talking about you're really empowered now. It's like you have all the energy to go forth into the world and make it happen. You have all the tools you need to make it happen. And it's very much an individual. He's, he, his whole stance and everything looks like a number one. So you're feeling beautiful, you're flourishing and glowing, you're feeling empowered, you have the energy to go out there and get it, and you have the star card. The star is beautiful blessings from above, from spirits and angels, and higher realms raining down on you, magical, mystical blessings. So, I mean, beautiful beautiful it's almost like um the feminine the masculine and the spirit you know undefined spirit so it's beautiful um the central card is the page of cups and the pages all the pages i don't it can be a person but for the most part i read it as a messenger i always say all the young dudes carry the news and the page of cups is also a messenger He's of a, a water sign. He represents the element of water, which is the Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. And we are moving into the sign of Scorpio on the 23rd. So it might be something happening around that time of Scorpio. Very often I will use this, though, um, as the spirit of an unborn child. 
especially when it shows up next to the empress. So somebody's, for many of you, somebody's pregnant. There's a baby out there, somebody's pregnant. Um, there's other indications of this too, because we've got the Six of Cups, which has the children on it. We've got the Ten of Cups, which has the children on it. So for many of you, this is uh, having to do with pregnancy, children, things of this nature. Um, any of the cards on their own don't necessarily mean that, but when you get this big lineup of four different cards, for a lot of you, this is this is what's happening. But let's go back to the spirit child making this offer, this messenger. An offer is coming. And the year of fan. So that says that it's outside of the norms of society. It's outside of typical um, structure. Outside of society. Uh, something... Usually it's out, I, I keep wanting to say society, and that is the strong meaning of that card, but sometimes it's um, just outside of the norm for you. It might not be that weird for other people, but it's just not usually your, your way of doing things. Um, more, for more of you, though, I feel like it's kind of, there's a twist, the opposite twist to that. It's more like um, not outside the um, realms of society. But you're outside. You're already outside the realms of society. <laughs> Sad Jesus. And this is just, you know, you're just kind of a weirdo in, a, in the best meaning, in the best way. I'm a weirdo too. You know, this kind of, you're just kind of a weirdo. And this is just right up your alley. You know, it's just right in there with your weirdness. You know, fits right in there. Um, fit. Yeah, it fits. It fits for you. The Fool is here too. And the Fool is about taking a chance, taking a risk. So it could be for some, I feel like for some of you it's coming out. And coming out is not only about your, your, your sexuality. Some people, you know, coming out, it's about whatever. Being a psychic or being into spiritual stuff or being into whatever. It's kind of like showing the world, like, look, I'm a big weirdo and <laughs> I don't care who knows it. Letting your freak flag fly. Let that freak flag fly, Saggies. Try saying that three times fast. It's going to change your life. The death card is here, nothing to worry about. Death upright is a natural process of life. It's a very favorable thing. It will change your life, no doubt about it. But look at how it's going to change your life in beautiful, wonderful ways. The Ten of Cups of the Minor Arcana cards. The Ten of Cups is probably the best card in the Minor Arcana cards. It's, it is the marriage card, so some of you might be getting married or finding your true love or... For some of you, if it is love-related and relationship-related, it would probably be somebody from the past with this card being right there. Another, another uh, sign had somebody coming back from the past. It was a different set of cards, but they did have it. So for some of you, you might be getting back together with somebody. For some of you, though, um, you know, the Ten of Cups isn't always just about that. It's the most happiness, the most joy, the most love. So it's just reaching this pinnacle of joyous wonder. And, and with the rest, I mean, this is one of the best readings I've seen in a really long time for anybody, you know. This is a sweet, beautiful reading. Um, when I said sweet, I thought I saw it somewhere, and then I, I don't see it now. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. There's sweet here. Um, let that happen, by the way, when you're looking at these cards. Let those words pop out at you, and if they look like they say something else, go with that, because that's definitely um, a thing, okay? Yeah, so it's a wonderful month. Some of you might be getting married. Some of you might be finding the love of your life. Some of you might be becoming a parent or even becoming a grandparent, potentially. It's a, it, you're giving birth to something, and it's heaven-sent. It may not be a, a child, necessarily, but it's your baby you know it's like it's your it's your baby and it's something a little weird uh but it's gonna be good don't be afraid you know let it let it out let it let it go okay i'm gonna get to your animal totem card i just want to tell you about a few things by the way if you are in uk or germany and you wanted to order a, a t-shirt you can now they are available in uk and germany there's some glare on this but these are these celestial art this one is kind of dark but it's really really cool this is one of the newer ones that i've done and this is another newer one that I've done. This guy had a, a major Saturn double cap with uh, Aquarius rising, so Saturn. The celestial art, it'll have your chart in it. Sometimes multiple, this has a chart in it three times. It'll have elements of your chart, the background planet, 
uh, or, or uh, you know, the background celestial thing will be connected to your chart. And then I'm doing these astral glyphs too, which is another personalized astrology art. Two different people have told me that they're getting uh, that tattooed on them, which I think is so awesome. Um, if you want to find out about any of that, you can check out my website. I have chart The readings are there, by the way. If you're watching this early, the Equinox reading will be up for a little while longer, and then it will be taken down, but I have a bunch of other different options for readings and personalized art. I have the t-shirts, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the... Um, Animal Totem card. This is the Animal Totem card for our Sagittarius friends for the month of October of 2018. The skunk, yeah. You're going to be really emanating a lot of vibrational energy here. This, everybody sees the skunk coming. Asserting yourself, commanding respect, enhanced perception, clear essence, aromatherapy. Kundalini rising, attracting a lover. Walking your path devoid of obtrusions. Yeah, walking your path devoid of obtrusions, that's for sure. They're coming to you, man. You're really putting out that, that's that pheromones, that's that scent. You know, they're, they're going to catch your scent and show up in a big way here. Um, the, another reading of the Empress, too, is like she's just this beautiful goddess. And everybody wants to be her, wants to, is attracted to her, wants to, is in love with her, and wants to be her. So you're emanating some really strong vibes this month, Sag. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> I'm supposed to know those things, right? I wonder, is Jupiter changing signs this month? Because Jupiter is your ruling planet. No, but it's, it's direct, and it's in, it's, it's in its full power. It's, it's, it's tying up its uh, last just, you know, stint it's just gone through. You're going to have Mercury go on your sign. There's nothing really obvious in the astrology, but something is sure going on, I'm telling you. Because you are just, you've got it. You, you just, you've got it, you know. Okay, um, that uh, the, concludes this portion of the reading. If you're a Patreon uh, subscriber, then you can tune in to the second video where I'm going to pull a card out of the story cards to complement this. It won't be this deck every month, every, I'll change it up, uh, but that's strictly for the Patreon supporters who will also get the readings early and with no Google ads. So if you're interested in, in having that, you can check it out. It's going to be $8 a month, but it's for all of them, not per video. So you, you pay one fee instead of like on Vimeo where you have to pay a fee for every single thing. You just pay for one, and bam, you got them all. Okay, I'm hoping I can set it up like that. I, I'm going to find a way to set it up like that. <laughs> okay, so thanks so much for your support. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you can find the button down here. There's an eye in the sky that'll take you to my website, or check the links below. Remember, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, donating. Remember your love and beauty incarnate. Have a great month of... October. I was going to say September, but it's October, and I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>